Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is remove nth node from end of the list. So in this question, we're given the head of a linked list and also we are given an integer variable n which denotes the node we have to remove from the end of the linked list and we have to return its head. So for example, this is the linked list given to us. You have to remove the second node from the end. The second node from the end is 4. So you get the output as 1, 2, 3 and 5. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. So let's take the same example they've given us. This is the linked list where n is equal to 2. As n is equal to 2, we have to delete the second node from the end. So this is the first node and this is the second node and we have to delete this element. So linked list is all about the pointers pointing to the next element from the current node. As this is a singly linked list, the node will be pointing to the next node. So basically we have to remove this connection and form a new connection. So this is how you remove a node from a linked list and now you have the output 1, 2, 3 and 5 which is the expected output. So how are we going to do that? So first we have to point at the node we have to delete right. So how are we going to find node we have to delete? First let's find the length of the linked list. There isn't any method to find the length of the linked list so you have to take a pointer. So I take a current pointer which will point at the head of the linked list and now I have to iterate until current is not equal to null. So in each iteration I increment a counter which will count the number of nodes and finally when you reach null you know how many counts it has taken place and you get the length of the linked list. So I create a variable length. So in each iteration current will be pointing at these nodes. And finally current will be pointing here and I get the length of the linked list as 5. Now using the length of the linked list and the node value we have to delete from the end. So we have to find out the position of the node prior to the node we have to delete. So you have to find out the position. So how are we going to find out the position is we have to iterate from the starting till length minus n minus 1 which will give you the node prior to the node we have to delete. So length is equal to 5 n equal to 2 minus 1 because of the pointer starting from 0 so this will give you 2 so you start from i is equal to 0 1 and 2 and you reach that node so this is the standard formula applicable for finding the node prior to the node to be deleted so now we know till where we have to iterate so let's point current back to the head of the node and now current will start a iteration from 0 until 2 next iteration current will be here and in the next iteration current will be here. Now we are at the node. So instead of pointing the next node of the current node to the next, we have to do it to next dot next. So current dot next will be pointing at current dot next dot next. We are not changing any nodes. We are just changing the links between the nodes. That is how you remove nodes from a linked list. And now finally you return the head of the linked list and you get the answer as the following. So this is the required output and you get the same output. Now let's try to code these steps. Coming to the function they have given us, this is the function. This is the head of the linked list and the integer variable n which denotes the node we have to remove from the end. Now let's create a list node called current which is pointing to the head of the linked list. We're going to use this node as a pointer to find the length of the linked list. Now let's create a length variable of integer data type. The length is currently 0, so I initialized it to 0. Now I'm going to find out the length of the linked list using the current pointer. So until current becomes null, I use a while loop. So null is at the end of the linked list, so until I reach the end, I keep incrementing length and move the current pointer one step to the right. Now the current pointer is at the last node of the linked list. Now we can now we can form an edge case. If n is equal to length of the linked list, it means that you have to remove the first node, right? So for example, if n is equal to 5, your length of the linked list is also 5. So fifth node from the end will be the first node. But the first node is head, we have to return the head. If n is equal to the length of the linked list, we move the head to the next point and return head. We point head to head dot next, which means that we remove the first node and the output will be 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we can return the new head. Now using this while loop, we found out the length of the linked list using the current pointer. Now current pointer is pointing at the last node, right? We have to bring it back to head. Or you can declare a new node and use it as a new pointer. But I'm just going to 
point current back to head. Now we have to find out the node prior to the node you have to delete. For that, I'm going to iterate through the linked list from the zeroth node to length minus n minus 1. Length is equal to 5, n is equal to 2, minus 1. So 5 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 2, 0, 1, 2. So our task is to point here. So let's move the current pointer in each iteration. Now current is at this node, we have to change the next pointer to current.next.next. .next. So current.next will be current.next.next. .next. So with this we remove this connection and made a connection from 3 to 5. And you return the head of the linked list again. So this node is a class and it will have the next pointer. So you get the all links from the head as the output. Now let's try to run this code. Our test cases are running. Let's submit this code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the number of nodes inside the linked list. Because you are finding out the length, so you have to go till the end of the linked list at least once. So this is a two-pass approach. This is the first pass and this is the second pass. And the space complexity is O of 1 because you're not declaring a new linked list and you're just making new connections between the nodes. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.